Alright, I'm back. What you see here is an API aquarium for for sucules or something incorporated uh, master test kit. It has your ammonia bottles, nitrate bottles, nitrate bottle, high range pH for the African cichlid dubbers and uh, a few other cichlids or a few other fish that like high pH and uh, low pH. It also comes with this little sheet, color coding sheet to tell you what uh, what the readings are. And uh, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna get a uh, KHGH, which is general hardness uh, test kit. Cause er yeah, cause it doesn't come with the master test kit for some reason, and I need that for my pistos when I get when I get some more uh, variety. And for my Agassiz or Agassizis. So, uh, ah. here's the API lo logo. It's Aquarium Pharmaceuticals. That's what it was. Okay. Probably pronounced that wrong, but I don't really care right now. I'm kind of sleepy. I just woke up. Uh, it also this kit also comes with instruction pamphlets. Uh,. This isn't the one, this is an instruction pamphlet for when I had guppies and I needed the pH to be a lot high, higher than it is now. Oh yeah, if any of you guys have the, uh, have a power, penguin, marineland power filter, or penguin filter that uses C cartridges, I've got a one, two, three, four, five pack right there. So if you need, if anyone wants that, uh, I don't know, 15 bucks, 10 bucks, I'll work out a price if you have for it, because, I don't know, I, I just don't want that right now, probably just going to give away to the fish store, yeah, that's what I'm going to do, I have no use for it whatsoever, I guess I could use it to clean the sides of the tanks, that might work. Scratch that. I'm doing that. Alright, uh, on this brine shrimp beaker right there. It's pretty much empty. I have no use for it right now. Okay, so. Since I just did my water change, the first thing I'm going to do is test for ammonia. Nitrite. Nitrate. And then I'm going to test for the pH. So let's get started on that. Uh, so first we do ammonia. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the beaker they give you or the uh, test tube. Make you're gonna wash it out. Make sure it's dry. No tap water. Any other waters in there. And then, there are two ways. There's one way, which is the easier way, is just to dip it in, pour it out, dip it in a couple times, just to make sure you have the right amount. The other way is to take some measuring thing and measure it out that way. Uh, another one is to do a, siphon, a small air tube siphon. If this has 5 milliliters on it, I'll just use this. Flip it around. Uh... Yep, it's got milliliters, so I'll just use this. I just stick it in, pull it out, and then I uh, can't really do this with one hand. I'll try to rest this. Alright, so you got this. Just put it in until it says 5 milliliters. Sorry if you can't see this. I'm trying my best to get it right. I don't have a tripod for this thing yet, so. Pour it in. And you want to get it as exact as possible. And then you just pull it back out. And put that over there. Alright. Don't 
if you saw that or not, but now I've got five milliliters of water in there. Put it right there. You're gonna take your ammonia test bottle number one. Uh, you can if you have the test kit for pH or high range pH or just nitrite or just pH or just yeah ammonia or just nitrate. You can buy mini packets of these things with just the just one test kit. I uh, I got the master test kit because I didn't have anything when I was doing guppies, so you know. So ammonia, you're gonna drop eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the last two, you might want to slow down so you make sure you get it as precise as possible. Because if you mess it up, you have to restart because it's gonna be incorrect. I used to do. I used to mess up and keep going. Uh, now I've learned that it was a big mistake. Take your top. Lop it on. And then. Just sh shake it for a few minutes or seconds. Like 30 seconds will do. Fine. 60 seconds the better. The more the merrier, you know. And then. Let it sit for a second. While we're letting it sit, we're going to open up Ammonia Test Bottle 2. I have no idea why they have two bottles for the same thing. I guess it's just the chemistry of whatever. Yeah. So, Ammonia Test Bottle 2. Something on nit nitrite and pH are the only ones that have one bottle. So, expect to do a little extra work. So you also add eight drops of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then cap it off again. Your if you see your water uh, or your test beaker and the liquid levels above five milliliters, don't get worried because that's Logic, you shouldn't get worried in the first place because I mean, it's, it's like logic sense. Just, matter goes out of one place, has to go into another, and then fill up space. You lose space, and then you know, shake it for a few minutes, and then it should turn a certain color in the beginning. If it turns a one color in the beginning, don't get fooled and think that's the correct thing. You have to let it sit for about five minutes, so just put that right in the stand. I lost two of the beakers that I, or two of the test tubes that I had for this thing. I have no idea where they went. Frankly, I'm kind of mad, because now that I'm trusting a lot more, because I got my fish back, I really need it. So, uh, this beaker is not completely dry, but... Since I'm doing a uh, how-to, I'm just going to ignore that for right now. So, uh, oh crap. Okay, it didn't shatter. Just, uh, okay, one your test bottle, put it back there. You might want to put your test tubes back where, the like, next to a bottle that says what they are. So you don't forget what they are. I'm just gonna do that real quick for the ammonia. Uh, so after ammonia, you can do pH or nitrite. Nitrate is plant is food for your plant, so you don't want it to ever be below or above. You don't want your nitrate to be above. 80 parts per million or 80 ppm, but you don't want it to be 10 ppm be or below because that's not enough food for the plants. But above 80 is way too much food for the plants, so they can't eat it all, and then your fish die. You, you don't want that. So, uh, I guess I'll do nitrite. Where did it go? Here. Nitrite only has one bottle, so. Open. They're really easy to get open. You just have to uh, 
push this red thing right there or to the uh, to the left and then screw to the right it's a pretty clever seal uh, I'm gonna have to fill this one up the same way I did the other one take it fill this up sheesh this is hard with one hand Got some air in there, but I know it's above five milliliters, so I'm fucking. And then, uh, I'll put that down again. Speaker. Pour it in. Huh. Seem to have lost the rim for this. <laughs> 